So I actually just wanted to share my experience with restrictive dieting and the unsustainable diet I went through with my own transformation and hope that maybe someone can relate to this and take a little bit of value. And I, I definitely want to be really, really open and honest about this. I, th I thought dieting and, and losing weight it, it was difficult and it actually really is, but nothing could have prepared me for the psychological aftermath that comes with finishing a diet. And it's really completely changed my perspective on on dieting itself. I think we've got a diet industry that is worth billions of pounds and has a notably very, very low success rate. And interestingly, albeit losing weight is, is very challenging, a lot of people still manage to lose weight. But so many of us really, really struggle to sustain it. And in fact, so many of us put it back on and go further and put more on than when we started. Weight regain or diet rebound statistics don't leave for good reading. And not only do 60, 70 percent of people regain the weight back, they go on to put on more. And, and that can be really detrimental to both not just physical, but mental well-being. And it's, it's clear that there's lots of people out there trying to make a positive change and the statistics aren't aren't changing. Um Essentially, the diet industry is failing a lot of people and it's a money-making monster, which means the big winners here are the companies taking a slice of the billions that's being spent by essentially unsuspecting people simply trying to change their body because maybe they aren't that happy. Um, it's an industry that promotes and sells quick fix fad diets endorsed by celebrities from Love Island that do nothing other than, like I said, just harm people's bank accounts and the mental and physical well-being of of the people trying to make that change. I thought the diet itself that I went through was going to be difficult, but you can kind of get used to being hungry. You can adapt, but I massively underestimated the fallout from a restrictive diet that I thought would in turn kind of just be one day of eating what I wanted after, but it soon turned into what was essentially a week and then rolled into two, three weeks before I managed to control what was kind of uncontrollable binging for me. Um, it was a few days after I'd finished my own transformation, had my photo shoot, I had that light bulb moment and I was like, holy crap. So this is, this is why the diet industry is worth absolutely billions. I'm getting a small taste of it and if I'm not careful, I'll just be another, another person contributing to these kind of statistics and being a personal trainer and a coach, you know, I certainly take pride in supporting people. It's why I wake up every morning with loads of energy. It's, it, it fulfills me like nothing else could. And going through actually what was a very restrictive and unsustainable diet was an invaluable learning experience for me. Um, and it's done nothing other than reinforce my belief that food restriction of any form simply doesn't work and can have a hugely detrimental impact on, on kind of how you feel. Um, how you feel about yourself, uh, your confidence, your self-worth. Um, and, you know, what is the solution? I, I, I think first we've got to recognise that losing weight is is challenging. It's extremely difficult. Um, you know, our bodies will always aggressively defend any energy reserves at the first sign of weight loss. Um, I don't think it's found in kind of the quick fix section in Holland and Barrett or certainly not the Love Island Instagram page, you know, the more you restrict, the harder it will be to maintain. The foods that you love and enjoy, the more you restrict them, the more you'll crave them. Um, so this it essentially means not cutting foods out you enjoy and not doing so much cardio that maybe your knees end up hurting. You know, there are certain systems that I use with certain clients, whether it's tracking food or learning more about energy and calories and the foods that we eat whether it's focusing more on sleep or moderating portion sizes, looking at alcohol intake, you know, it requires a degree of knowledge, education, self-love, self-belief, certainly discipline, dedication, patience, perseverance. Um, and yeah, just I just wanted to share that and, and maybe someone can take something from that, you know. Um, if you've got any questions, drop me a message. I hope in some way this has helped. Um, and yeah, have a great day.